Hi everybody, it's Kim Hughes and today I want to talk to you about Facebook. Um, I want you to go over to your Facebook account, look at the five things that we're going to talk about today and make sure that you have them set up. So if this is something that you would like to make sure that you have your Facebook account set up the correct way, then stick around because we've got some great things to talk about. Welcome to the Unstoppable Real Estate Agents Podcast. I'm your host and real estate productivity expert, Kim Hughes. Join me as we focus on real strategies and implement real solutions designed for you to achieve major success in your business and life while getting you organized. So the first thing that we all want to know is when we come to a Facebook profile or a Facebook page is, you know, the, the look of it. So you want to make sure that you have an appealing photo on your profile, um, you know, whatever that may be. You know, it could be some flowers, it could be your family, whatever, because that is your personal profile. But when you go to your business, uh, uh, business page, then you want to make sure that it gives the information that everybody needs. So what I want you to do is look at your cover page and make sure that it represents what you do for a living, which is real estate. If you're in another type of business, then make sure that it just reflects what you do. Um, if you are an airplane pilot for a private, um, for, for the, for the private sector, put that in there, you know, airplanes, things like that. If you're a plumber, make sure that you put things about plumbing, um, electricians, etc. So if you have your profile cover page on your Facebook page, it will immediately draw people in and make sure that it's appealing. It looks good. You know, spend a little money on this. You know, this is something that you should spend anywhere from maybe 20 to $100. Um, and it should be, you know, something that you create and it should fit all of your profiles on all your social networks. So if you need some help with that, just let me know, but you can go to Fiverr, um, and, and look at social media packages and they, there's plenty of people out there that do them. I think I did mine for about $30. So it's worth the investment. So that's the first thing I want you to do is look at your cover page. And then once you do that, let's look at your um, left hand side, which is where you're going to have information about how to contact you. What is your email, your website, your phone number? Um, what are your other social network links? So if you're on LinkedIn, if you're on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, you know, all of that can be added. So if you go up into your settings and you go to your profile and you hit edit profile, you should see all of these things that if they're filled in. But what you want to do is look at it as a visitor and make sure that the information is readily available. It's very irritating for someone to want to reach out to you and they go over and there's no information or it's outdated. You know, so make sure that you have everything right there for people to either click on or pick up their phone and dial that number or text that message to you. Um, you will not believe how many opportunities you've missed if you do not have this updated. Um, the other thing is making sure that you have your business hours in there. Very important. You don't want people calling you at nine o'clock at night when you're trying to get your kids ready for bed or you're trying to finish up from things that you've done during the day or just spending time with your, your spouse. So make sure you put your office hours on there. People respect that. Um, I personally do not answer my phone after seven o'clock. Sorry, you know, I mean, I'm here for you between eight in the morning until six o'clock at night. And during that time, you should be able to reach me. If you reach me after six, 630, it's going to go to voicemail. I'm not going to get your text message. I will pick it up in the morning and I will contact you first thing. But in the evenings, that time is devoted to me and my family. And that is something that everybody needs to learn to respect, especially now that we are all 
trying to figure out how to do this work at home thing. Now, of course, I've been doing it for 22 years, so I don't need to figure out how to work from home. But a lot of you out there are having to figure it out because now you've got the kids, the husband, you might have um, other things going on in your house that you're trying to juggle. So you need to be respectful of other people's time, but then they need to be respectful of yours. You're not going to miss out on a sale because it, somebody tried to reach you at 10 o'clock at night uh, to schedule a showing, you know, and, and that's totally up to you. But I personally do not feel that you should be available 24 hours a day. That will give you burnout. Um, okay. So make sure you have your office hours set up and make sure that your contact information is in there with, you know, like I said earlier, your phone number, your email, your website, your other social media um, accounts. Because if you, if you're like me, I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Pinterest, I'm on Twitter, but I don't use it. Um, it doesn't do anything for me. So I don't really pay attention to that. So, but if you want to connect with me on any of those, you certainly can by ch just looking at my profile. Then the other thing that's really, really important is making sure that when you have a closing and you get a review from your client, um, whether they're a buyer or a seller, you should be able to send an email say the closing was at three o'clock it finished at four you get in your car they get in their car if it was done virtually then so be it but within an hour after that closing your client should be receiving an email or a text message with thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to work with you please take a moment to post a review on the following links and you should have in that email or in that text the links to where they can go straight over there and post a review. Um, all you have to do is just put that link in there. All they have to do is click on it. It takes them to the review page of your Facebook. They post their review, done. You have now got a review and it doesn't take anybody but five minutes to do it. And the reason why you want to do it as soon as the closing ends is because they are excited. They're happy. They, they think you just hung the moon. So let them give you a review. They want to. So make sure that they have the links and the information in order to do that. Very important. And by doing those reviews on your Facebook, people see that and they get comfortable with now contacting you. So make sure you take advantage of this little tool. It is one of the best tools that Facebook can give you and your business. Okay. Then, you know, as I was saying before, make sure your cover page is, you know, looks very professional. It has everything, you know, by looking at those images, people know exactly what you do. But then also you have the profile uh, picture. Make sure that that picture is a good picture. Um, I cannot tell you how many real estate agents business pages I've looked at where they've had their dog or their cat or a flower or they're wearing their baseball cap backwards or they're sticking out their tongue or they're, you know, doing something that is not um, in line with what they do. I mean, you want to look professional. You want people to take you seriously. Um, you know, you don't want to show off to be a, a stuffy person, but when you rep your, represent yourself in a professional manner, your clients are going to gravitate to you because of that. That's respect. They're going to respect the fact that you know what you're doing. And that image of yourself is very, very important. It's the first thing that people see. So make sure that you have a really good photo. Doesn't have to be a professional photo or anything like that. Mine's not. Mine's just a picture that my husband took of me and I liked it and I thought, oh, you know what? I like that picture. It makes people gravitate to me. They don't take, they take me seriously, but I'm, I'm approachable. Okay. So if you need some tips on how to do that, or if you want to look at an example, just go over to mine. It's very easy to find. I'll put the link down below and look at mine and mimic it, you know? And if you struggle with this, go to your settings. It's up in the right-hand corner of your Facebook page and go over, when you click on settings, it'll give you all these options and just look for edit profile. 
and then put it in there. That's all you've got to do. Fill it out. It takes probably 10 minutes, okay? So what I would like for you to do is, ch is challenge you to do this today. You know, take that five minutes while you're on hold um, waiting to talk to somebody or grab a bottled water and sit down and, and while you're drinking that water, do your profile page. And then if you want me to look at it, to put the link down below, I'll be more than happy to take a look at it and, and give you some tips on it or um, help you try to find the place that you need to go to do what you need to do. It's very, very important. So make sure you take advantage of the time that you have to update these little things as you go along. Okay, great. So if you have any questions, you know, feel free to send me an email to Kim at KimHughes.com. And then if you have any questions about how to run your business, if you are needing help um, with running certain areas of your business, we would be more than happy to talk to you. We are a high-end, real estate virtual assistant firm. I am the first um, real estate virtual assistant. I am the pioneer of this industry. And so I know what I'm talking about. I'm self-taught. Nobody taught me how to do it. I learned how to do this on my own and have been very, very successful, have taken a lot of agents um, from being either new or, st or stuck in their business and taking them to be top producers now. A lot of those top producers you probably have seen out on the on the conference circuit and you're probably following them and, and following their tips and everything so doesn't hurt to have a conversation I offer a 20-minute free consultation so feel free to reach out and visit my website kimhughes.com click on the button schedule a consultation pick your time I'll get an email you'll get an email and then we'll talk okay great so thanks a lot. Go out and do and do you and do you in the best way you know how. Thanks. Bye.